Hello, my name is Matil Iguori and welcome to my presentation of my individual project. It's called the Comparative Analysis of Sensor Diffusion Techniques for State Estimation and Autonomous Navigation of a Self-Balancing Bike. My project is all about autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are a very popular area of research at the moment and we can see examples of them all around us. This project was inspired by work I did last year on the Arduino Self-Balancing Bicycle. I had two main goals for this project. To create a closed loop controller for the bicycle. This means a controller that's able to autonomously control the bicycle and guide it towards set waypoints. And also to use sensor fusion algorithms to improve the quality of the state estimation and allow the controller to work for longer and more accurately. In the field of robotics, state estimation refers to the act of using uh, sensors, such as an IMU, an inertial measurement unit, which gives information about acceleration in different axes, and a rotary encoder, which gives information about how quickly a motor is spinning, to obtain an estimate of the state of the vehicle. The state of the vehicle contains information such as the vehicle's position, orientation, lean angle, and other relevant information, which depend on the, on the specific architecture of the vehicle being controlled. The main challenge of state estimation is how to deal with the noisy, noisy nature of sensors. Sensors in the real world come with a certain range of uncertainty. They also tend to drift over time. This means that for accurate state estimation, we must come, come up with some ways to mitigate the noisy, er, the noisy nature of data to still obtain a suitable and accurate state estimation. One possible way to mitigate this problem of noisy sensors is the use of sensor fusion algorithms. Sensor fusion algorithms basically rely on the notion that two sensors are better than one. The concept behind sensor fusion is to take the outputs of two different sensors which measure indirectly the same thing. For example, the current position and uh, orientation of the bicycle can be calculated in two different ways using the sensors on board. One way is done for odometry. The rotary encoder and the steering angle are known and can be used using inverse kinematics in order to calculate the position and orientation of the bicycle over time. Another way to do so will be to use the IMU on the bicycle. The IMU gives information about the orientation and the angular acceleration of the bicycle over time. We can, use, we can take the integral of these measurements in order to obtain the position and orientation of the bicycle. Now that we have two different ways of obtaining both the position and orientation of the bicycle, a sensor fusion algorithm such as the extended column filter can be used in order to combine all of these measurements into a more accurate and reliable state estimation. The extended column filter is a popular sensor fusion technique used in robotics today. It takes in indirect measurements of the state from noisy sensors and combines them with a nonlinear dynamic model of the system in order to output a robust and accurate state estimation. For these reasons, this algorithm was implemented in my model. Next, we can look at a demonstration of my bicycle model as it is able and demonstrate its ability to not autonomously navigate towards waypoints.